Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Chris Lukau and today I would like to take you with me on an expedition to southern China and to be more precise to Hong Kong to the type location of the bee shrimp. In nature this shrimp Caridina logemani the bee shrimp is really hard to find and it took me like 15 years to find out the uh, type location or the location of the shrimp and it was a coincidence I talked to a friend of mine who has a shop in Hong Kong an aquascaping shop and he said, hey, Chris, I'm hiking a lot around Hong Kong. And I saw, I've seen this shrimp uh, in a clear creek outside of Hong Kong. And he took me there. And it took us several hours to hike, like three hours to go to that place. But in the end, we found it. I was so happy to finally see it in the wild. And I want to share this with you. On my first trip, I didn't take any video. So that's why I had to go back. And the second time, I took with me Werner Klotz who described the shrimp later as Cardina Logemani. But in fact, I have been one of the first Western people to see this shrimp in the wild. And the closer we got to the place, the denser also got the bamboo forest. And you really have to pay attention to not get lost in this place. And then suddenly I stood in front of the creek and I was really excited. This was one of the three creeks where the bee shrimp uh, Caridina logemani occurs and the first thing that I saw okay there's a lot of bamboo forest around so the creek will be not very warm uh, because the sun will take a while to warm up this water and probably it will just go in some parts of the creeks directly in. In Hong Kong it can get really warm in the summertime that's June, July, August maybe even September temperatures can go up to 100 Fahrenheit that's about 37, 38 Celsius. So in the places of open space, the water will be much warmer than in the places uh, with the shadow. So of course we took measurements in this place and the temperature, we have been there like mid of March has been uh, 16 degrees Celsius, uh, but it can probably drop even lower like 15 degrees Celsius. And in summertime in these pools, temperature can go up to 28 degrees Celsius. In the aquarium, of course, you can have temperatures from 18 degrees Celsius to 24 uh, in average. I don't use a heater, so this also varies with the room temperature. In summer, it gets a bit more warm and in winter, it gets a bit more cool. So about the pH, we measured in this place 5.6, but in other places we had 5.7, 5.8. In the aquarium, you can have it up to 6.1, 6.5 without a problem. The conductivity in this place was between 30 and 70 and I consider this is one of the more important parameters that we have to take care of in the aquarium for the bee shrimp. So the water is very important for keep bee shrimp. If you are not sure about your tap water, um, you can use an RO system to have um, distillated water or demineralized water. I used this uh, in the beginning when I started to breed uh, crystal red shrimp. Um, if you don't have an RO system, you can also go to the Walmart and or to any grocery store and buy drinking water. But be careful, use the one without the bubbles, that like uh, just plain drinking water. And if it comes to the RO system, if you use an RO system, you have to add the shrimp minerals to it. In case of the bee shrimp, there's a bee salt that you can use, add that, and then the shrimp will be pretty okay. But the salts are not directly for the shrimp or the minerals. They are for the bacteria that the, sh the shrimp feed on. And then the bacteria will grow and the babies can eat uh, better from the leaves or from uh, the rocks that you have in your aquarium or the plants because then the, bacter the bacteria will thrive and will um, feed the babies and also the adults. So that's what the minerals are for in fact to create a good habitat for the shrimp. So we have seen it how important are the leaves for a shrimp tank. In every shrimp tank there should be some dried leaves. Here we have bamboo leaves but you can use katapa, you can use oak. You can use uh, dadap leaves, any of the leaves that you can find dried. Of course, in the shop we have them at garnelio.com. You can find several leaves there for shrimp. And um, yeah, that's an important thing I would not exclude from a shrimp tank. I have been sitting on this creek for several hours just because it was fun watching and observing the shrimp. So uh, what I have seen and what I also would recommend 
for a shrimp tank is that shrimp in fact eat all the time. As uh, soon as the lights go on, the shrimp uh, start looking for food and eating. So that's why I also would recommend to feed the shrimp. In fact, I feed them every day, not only because it's fun, but also because I've seen it in the habitat. They are all the time looking for food. So I also would recommend this. Uh, I feed them usually the main food from Garnelio or Natureholic and then one or two times, probably one time in the week, there's enough that we feed the protein. And then we have several other foods that are just fun to watch how they eat it because of the different ingredients, you know, in the river or in a creek you have also from time to time that a fish dies or insects fly in and the shrimp will feed on them or little worms and so on. So the next observation that I made was oxygen in the water. There's a lot of little waterfalls or the riffles that bring a lot of oxygen to the water and that's very important especially when the water temperature is high uh, they need more oxygen or for molting they need more oxygen so that's something that you have to take care um, that there's enough oxygen in a bee shrimp tank and the last thing that i observed it was really a coincidence it was raining at the time um, the weather went the, the temperature went down quicker the rain went in so the water temperature also went down quick relatively quick and this compared to when the sun is shining and it takes a long time for the water warm up during the day so the shrimp can handle cooling down the water quick better than warming up quick so this is something that you also could uh, remember when you have a bee shrimp tank Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, if you have time, check out our shop. We ship worldwide, garnelio.com. And I see you at the next video. Cheers and keep on shrimping, huh?